is uh, Carlin Ma, and I am making my first ever screencast. I've recorded this now at least 10 times, so uh, bear with me if I'm a little bungee. I'm using the QuickTime uh, built-in feature. You can see it's grayed out, new screen recording, and there's this nice little invisible window over here that's uh, that only I can see that is telling me how big the file is and what time it is, and it's a nice little feature. What I'm actually showing off, though, is Google SketchUp. I just learned how to use it, and this little project is the first thing I've done with it. And it's a self-irrigating planter to fit inside of a yogurt cup. It's part of a blog series that I'll put a link to in the comments. So here we go. Uh, I can choose my template, and you can see the product design and woodworking when it's selected. I'm a metric kind of girl, so I'm going to go ahead and work in millimeters. I'm using this template for a smaller scale project such as furniture design. A lot of the other stuff is for if you want to participate in Google Earth or uh, big buildings. There are lots of lots of different options, but I'm going to go straight into product design and woodworking because it has a nice gray background also that I like. So here's the window. You can see what I uh, already have open actually is the large tool panel and that's in tool palettes, large tool set. Nice thing about this, particularly as you're learning uh, Google SketchUp, is it will give you the tool tips as you hover over it. So I want the pan tool, it's got an H, the zoom tool, Z, the orbit tool is an O, uh, the push-pull tool, which I'll be using a bunch of, and the offset tool. So all the tooltips are over here. But let's start with a circle. I'm going to go ahead and plunk it right down at the origin there, snap to it, and start pulling it out. If you notice, uh, in the bottom right-hand corner here, you can see the radius changing as I drag it around. One of the things I like about Google SketchUp is it gives you the ability to both drag and move things around. And I know I need my radius to be 27.5 millimeters, so we'll go there. That's awfully small. It can be really easy to put in your diameter instead of your radius, so do keep that in mind when you're working with the circle. I've done that before. All right. So I have a two-dimensional circle here. Now you can't have two dimensions in real space, so I'm going to pop it up and give it some depth with the push-pull tool. You can see I can drag it around. I know I need my planter here to hang 55 millimeters down uh, into the cup as well, conveniently. The same as the diameter. And if I want to check my dimensions, I can use this nice little measuring tool. You always want to know what you're doing. You can't put anything in this cylinder, this solid block, which is pretty unhelpful. So I'm going to use the offset tool. I'm click on the end and drag it in. Now this is for my wall thickness. So I only want my wall to be about 2.5 millimeters thick. And then I can use the push-pull tool again to push this down. And I know I want that to be 52 millimeters because it's the 55 millimeter height plus the 3 millimeters I want left at the bottom for thickness. You can see in there. And I'm going to actually zoom in a bit because there needs to be a drainage hole. It's not really a drainage hole, it's actually a hole to put a piece of acrylic cord or nylon cord down into the water reservoir that will be sitting in the bottom of the yogurt cup. So I click on this circle tool. You can see it's on my face. Actually, instead of doing the circle tool, I'll do the offset tool again. So I know I've got 25, about 25 millimeters if I wanted to check it. Yep, 25 millimeters. So I'm going to use my offset tool and come in 22 millimeters to leave a 6 millimeter hole. There you go. Now I know I'm in my center. 
I know it's six millimeters, everything is good. Now that's not a hole, that's just a circle. And I have two choices here, both with the push-pull tool. I can start pushing it down. As I start pushing it down, I can either go ahead and just type in three millimeters and it will snap to the bottom and everything will be perfect, or I can keep dragging. Now you, if you notice, if I keep dragging, I can create this bizarre entity that can't possibly exist in the real world of this faceless hole. Um, and <laughs> to keep that from happening, actually, if I drag to the bottom, let's see, there we go. See, there's a little, ah, there we go. This will make my dragging point, the drag of the face down, be level with the very bottom of the cup, which is the same as typing in three millimeters. You can see it there on the bottom right hand corner also says three millimeters. There we go and I have a perfect hole. Well we still aren't done. Um, this would fall all the way into your cup and not leave any ability for the plant to hang out there at the top. So I'm going to use the offset tool again, click on the outside and drag it out about 15 millimeters. This will give us 85 millimeters total and that should work fine in most yogurt cups. So we'll have a 50, 55 millimeter cup in the middle with this uh, 85 millimeter lip. I could cant the edges of this cup but I don't know how to do that and I'm trying to make the simplest possible version of this and all the different uh, CAD softwares that I'm trying out. So this needs to come up three millimeters. And this needs to come up three millimeters. And so we have a three millimeter thick lip. And if we go to view, face style, uh, actually wireframe, you can see now all of the lines that are making up this cup. And there's this weird, actually let's go back to x-ray. Shading the pictures. Ooh. And Actually, let's do x-ray for a second. You can see there's this sort of false wall happening right in there. We don't want to have happen when we create, we don't want it to still be there when we have a, we create the SDL file. So let me just very carefully make sure that I'm selecting only that, hit the delete key and there it goes. And go back to our normal view. And here we go. This is it. Ta-da! That's all it took. About six minutes, seven minutes, and we're all good. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to hit save and call it yogurt. Sip, save. Now I have a choice here. It will ask me, it's actually kind of interesting, if I close this window, I will immediately be asked uh, whether or not I want to share this model with 3D Warehouse. And you can make it never ask you again. You can do maybe later or share a model and it will get you into a window where you can create a Google SketchUp account or link it to your existing Google account. And I'll be doing that and I'll put a link to that in the, in the comments and the blog post as well. So thank you uh, very much for watching this. Again, my name is Carlin, and I hope this was at all helpful. I'll be doing Blender next uh, in terms of the videos, and I hope that will also be helpful. Thanks. Have a good rest of your day.